Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Secrets of Azeroth. This is an event which just has concluded on the live game but can be completed at any time. And in this video we're going to go through the entire guide of this event on how to get all the achievements, the unlockables, the mounts, the pets, and the transmog, everything uh, from this event. So buckle in because this is probably going to be a long one. But before we jump into all of the Secrets of Azeroth I just want to shout out the sponsor of this video and that is Fume. Whole turkey might be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habit. And I'm not talking about some weird mojo by the Dark Spear trolls. We're talking about the sponsor of this video, and that is Fume. They look at the problem in a different way. Not every bad habit is wrong, so instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad? From your habit. Fume is an innovative, award-winning device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, it uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. Instead of bad, Fume is good, and it's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habits super easy. Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. I've been using Fume for over a month now and I absolutely love the flavors. I love how it's weighted, perfectly balanced and extremely fun to fidget with. I just sit here most of my days just fidgeting with it because it's just so nice to fidget with. Stopping is something we've all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories and there's no reason that that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today and head to tryfume.com slash Mr. GM or scan the QR code and use the code Mr. GM to get 10% off your journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use the code Mr. GM to save an additional 10% off your order today. Right, so yes, the Secrets of Azeroth event has just concluded on the live game. We now have all the secrets revealed and everything is able to be unlocked. This event was really cool, actually. I really, really enjoyed it. Every single day, a new secret would come out and uh, everyone would kind of work together to try and figure it out. Uh, obviously, this is a guide. It's going to have coordinates. It's going to kind of spoil it, I guess. Uh, so if you do want to just kind of enjoy it for what it's worth, then obviously just don't follow the guide. Uh, but yes, in this guide, we're going to talk about how to get a dog with a hat an alpaca with a hat, some hats for you as well, a recolor of a Mechagon mount, some achievements, some titles. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you get from this event and it's really cool. So if you're not into kind of figuring it all out yourself, this is the guide for you. I'm gonna put chapters onto each section uh, on how to get the different unlockables and things like that. So you could just kind of jump around to where you'd like to go. So let's start with the big one. And this is Who Done It. This is a 15 step achievement uh, with the reward of Patty the Mount, which is a alpaca with a hat as mentioned and the title Honorary Preservationist. So the first part of this achievement starts in the inn in Valdraken and you will have to speak to preservationist Kathos uh, in Valdraken to pick up the quest Preserving Rarities. To solve this very first step it's extremely easy, you just want to head into the bank in Valdraken, click the chalice opposite the Great Vault on the gold pile, then head back to Kathos in the inn and that will give you the first part of the achievement, the Preservationist. The next part of the achievement is the Ceremonial Spear. So for this once again you're going to be talking to Preservationist Kathos in the inn. Uh, this will give you the clue for the Tuscar Ceremonial Spear. Now to complete this one, it's extremely easy. All you have to do is head over to Boring Tundra and click the Ceremonial Spear. All of the coordinates for this will be down below. I recommend using TomTom, the add-on, and just copying and pasting the coordinates straight in, and that should put the point on the map. Once you get to the big Tuscar statue in Boring Tundra, you click the Ceremonial Spear. This will complete this part of the achievement and also give you another achievement called the Inquisitive, which will actually reward you the title The Inquisitive. So it'll be your name and then the Inquisitive. So yeah, a little extra achievement there for completing the first proper secret of the event. The next part of the achievement is the thinking cap. For this one you want to talk to Bobby Carlisle inside the Valdraken Inn and he'll need you to create a thinking cap using three items, the thought calculating apparatus, the downy helmet liner and the crystal oculus lens. So the first part you need is the thought calculating apparatus. This is obtained from Clinky Shatterboom in Valdraken and you need to give them 10 Thunderspine nests. Now there are several different ways to obtain the Thunderspine nest. The easiest one is of course just buying it on the auction house. Depending on when you're watching this, there might not be any on there, but there might be. So make sure you take a look at that first, just because it should be the 
the easiest way. You just need 10 of those. If that's not an option or you want to save your gold, you can get Uragoza in at the Roasted Ram Inn in Valdraken to create it for you. So to do this, you're going to need some items. Now you can also purchase these on the auction house if you like to, uh, but you're going to need three different items here. So the first one, you're going to need five Thunderspine Tenders. These are from Argula the Butcher in the Timber Step Outpost in the Unaran Plains, coordinates below. Uh, the next item is five Apexis Azago from Gorgon Zormu in Valdraken, the cheese vendor. Uh, and the final item is the Lattice Stinkhorn. This is from Sniktak in Loam, coordinates below to all of those. So once you have those items, you want to head back to Uragoza and they will make the 10 Thunderspine Nests for you. And obviously once you have the 10 Thunderspine Nests, go speak to Clinky Click Shatterboom in Valdraken and that will give you the Thought Calculating Apparatus. The next item is the Downy Helmet Liner. This is super easy. For this, you need to bring a fish to Griffin in the engineering area. So this fish is a fresh Tyranna. Now these are very easily obtained from Hungering Tyranna down in Valdraken in the southern part in the water down there. You just want to kill one of those, loot the fresh Tyranna and take it to Griffin in the engineering profession area. And that will give you the Downy Helmet Liner. The next item is the Crystal Oculus Lens. You need to speak to Shaky Flatlap in Valdraken. For this, I think the easiest way to do it is just to pay the 1,000 gold. It's the second option there and that will give you the crystal oculus lens once you get all those items you can click them and that will give you the quest unfinished thinking cap then you hand that quest into fang lee hoot uh, in the room next to the barbershop and earn the toy the tricked out thinking cap now this is not the end of the secret what you want to do now is use your tricked out thinking cap and speak to fang lee hoot once again this will give you a new quest called the tricked out thinking cap now what you want to do here once you accept this quest is head to the final destination of this clue and that is by the emerald enclave next to one of the waterfalls i'll put the coordinates below it's 64 6 53 7 you can just copy and paste that and then you click the shiny bag there and that will complete the quest and then once that's done you can go hand that back into fangly who and that will complete the thinking cap step of the meta achievement the next part of this achievement is an inside job. Now to start this, you need to speak to Bobby Carlisle once again in the Valdraken Inn and get the quest an inside job. This will take you back over to Fangly Hoot in Valdraken uh, and this will give you Fangle's note and the copied artifact storage key. From there, you wanna head back to the inn where you started, go upstairs and to the left-hand side, there's a double bed. To the left of that is a chest. You wanna open that chest and you'll get the Maruk Burial Banner. Once you've obtained that, you want to head to Appraiser Sazel Sticky Fingers uh, inside the house in the Emerald Enclave in Valdraken. And that will give you a new quest called Preservation is Cleared. This is just simply just to go back to that second floor chest in the Roasted Ram Inn. Once you click that, that will complete the quest. You head back to Fangly Who in Valdraken. And that will complete the inside job step of Who Done It, which is actually pretty easy. One of the easier ones. The next part is the Torch of Pyrath. To start this, you need to speak to Tithris, which is the innkeeper in the inn in Valdraken. Draken. This will give you the quest securing the artifact. Uh, from there, you want to head to the Waking Shore to the Lifebinders Conservatory uh, and look for some levers. Now, all the coordinates for these levers will be below in the description. So you want to just copy and paste those in and flip all of the free levers. Once you click a lever, you should get like a magnifying glass over your head. Uh, once all three are done, you want to head into the kind of like broken down in building. By the cooking fire, you'll see a torch. You want to click this and this is the Torch of Pyrath. This will begin a quest called the Torch of Pyrath to go back to Preservationist Cathos in Valdraken. Uh, once that's done, that will give you the toy, the Torture Pyrath, and that will give you another quest called the Torture Pyrath once again. Uh, you want to learn the toy and you want to use the toy and head over to the hidden chest uh, coordinates below in Valdraken. Click that while you have the Torture Pyrath active. Uh, that should complete the quest and you head back to Preservationist Cathos and that will complete the requirement for the Torture Pyrath for the achievement who done it. The next part is a chilling ascent. This one's super easy. So what you have to do here is speak to Bobby Carlisle in Valdraken to get the clerk's notes. From there, you want to head over to the Azure Span to a tablet. Uh, this is located at 788.32.4. This will be in the description, of course. You can copy and paste that in. Click the tablet. That will start a quest. Then you want to head back to Bobby Carlisle and that will complete the step for a chilling ascent. So yeah, very, very easy. The next part of the achievement is the Idol of Onara. For this, you need to speak to Tithris in the inn in Valdraken. From there, you want to head over to the western side of the Onaran Plains, and it wants you to click four different fires in order. Now, the coordinates for these fires are down below, so if you want to just copy and paste those in, this should put them on the map in the Onaran Plains. To click them, you do need to have your Torture Pyref active, so make sure that is active, and click the three fires, and then that should activate the fourth fire, which will give you a quest and Idol in hand. 
hand. From there, that will send you back to Val Draken uh, to hand in the quest to Preservationist Cathos. If you've done everything right so far, that will trigger the achievement Tools of the Trade. This is to get the three toys from the Secrets of Azeroth event. This unlocks the Brown Tweed Cap cosmetic. So yeah, there you go. You got a nice little hat transmog for doing all of these so far. But that's not it for the Idol of Onara. From there, you will get a new toy called the Idol of Onara and a new quest called Using the Idol. Now, this is just to show you how to use this toy. It's actually really cool, uh, but obviously the cheat codes here are just to copy the coordinates down below. Uh, there are three hidden gems you need to find in Valdrak. And if you do want to do this yourself, just stick the toy on and kind of follow the beam of light that comes out of the head of the toy. It is actually kind of fun, so I recommend doing that. Uh, but yes, once you've got all of those three, uh, you turn in the quest. That will give you the completion of the step Idol of Onara in the meta achievement. The next section is the Shifting Sands. This one is super easy. So to start this, you need to speak to Preservationist Cathos to start the Into the Sands part. To complete this, you need to click three Time Loss Fragments. Those are located in Thaldrassus. The coordinates are below, so you want to copy and paste those three coordinates. Uh, they're over in the uh, kind of like timey-wimey area. Once you've obtained all three of those, you want to combine them, and that will give you the quest Out of the Sands, which will just send you back to Valdraken to speak to Preservationist Cathos and complete the Shifting Sands section of the achievement. The next section, clue nine, is what's in a mold. To start this, you need to speak to Bobby Carlisle in the inn, and this will give you the quest a key story. From here, the quest hand in is at Weaponsmith Koref at the blacksmithing building in Valdraken, and this will give you an item called the Blacksmith and the Apprentice. Once that's done, you want to head back over to the Anaran Plains to the Slyvan Glade. Uh, the coordinates will be below and find the Titan Key Mold. Once you click the Titan Key Mold, this will start a new quest called a Titanic Mold, which is just simply to head back to the Weaponsmith in Valdraken, and that will complete the What's in the Mold step of the achievement. Our next part of the achievement is Forging is Key. This begins from Bobby Carlisle in the Valdraken Inn. This will be a quest called Reforging a Legend. Once that quest is picked up, you want to hand that into the Weaponsmith in Valdraken once again. From there, you want to get Get some items from the waking shore so the coordinates are down below but this one really sucked i did not enjoy this at all so you need to get 50 rose gold dust if you go to the location listed down below and use your idol of onara this should point you in the right direction to find them they are super small on the floor i can't stress that enough you really really have to look for them once you've obtained 50 of those you want to get a second item this is the igneous flux uh, this isn't as bad so you want to head the coordinates listed down below uh, and there'll be a few of them around there you need to get eight of those so once you have your 50 dust and your eight flux you want to head over to the obsidian citadel the area with rathian and sabellian and speak to weapons with koref who will have a brand new quest for you called a key to reforging this is a very easy quest you just want to talk to him and then follow these steps there'll be an extra action button uh, once that's all done that will give you the completion of forging is key uh, to the meta achievement the next section is a proper burial. This starts at Preservationist Cathos once again in the inn. This will give you the quest, a proper burial, uh, receiving the Maruk burial banner. Now, when this was active, uh, there was a load of different steps you need to do to kind of find the clues. Uh, but for this, you can actually run straight to the end if you really want to. So the coordinates are down below of the final resting place. This is in the Onaran Plains once again in the Dread Snare Cavern. Uh, this is at the back of the cave on the top floor. And you'll see a banner there. And once you click that banner, that will complete the step a proper burial. The next part of this very long achievement is the Kirin Tor Knowledge. Uh, for this one, you need to speak to Bobby Carlisle and get the quest a special book. This will give you the Kirin Tor contact notes. Now for this part, you need to head into Old Karazhan. So you need to head through the normal door to Karazhan to the Burn Crusade version and make your way through the dungeon past creator into the Guardian's Library. Now this is where you need to use your Idol of Onara to find some books. You can use this handy map provided by Wowhead if you like, uh, or you can just use the Idol as you normally would. The book you're trying to find is a book called Tears Legacy. Once you've got the right one, it should pop a quest called A Legacy of Secrets, which is just to return to Bobby Carlisle. So once that's all completed, that will complete the section Kieran Tor's knowledge on the achievement. The next section is Under Suspicion. Uh, to start this, you need to speak to Bobby Carlisle once again, and there'll be a quest called They Are Always Listening. This quest will once again send you over to Fangly Hu, who will direct you to get some papers around Valdraken. The coordinates to all these papers are, of course, down below. There'll be one in the auction house on a stack of boxes to the left. There'll be one in the transmog and void storage area. There'll be one by the two quarreling gardeners in the ruby enclave. This one's a little harder to see. It's just on the left-hand side behind the red dragon uh, on the box. The next one is located in the sapphire 
Sapphire Enclave. In the Dragon Scale Expedition area, it'll just be on a box in there. The penultimate one will be behind the general goods vendor in the Artisian Market, uh, just behind like the kind of stool there. It's just on a box. Uh, and then the final one will be in the Roasted Ram Inn in the Secret Bar area. So you want to head to the back of the inn, do slash bow while clicking the odd statue. This will take you to a secret bar and this will be located on the left hand side of the gold pile. If you've done all them correctly, that will pop the quest a complete inventory, which will send you back to Fangly Hoot. And once that's done, that will complete the under suspicion part of the achievement. The 14th clue and the penultimate clue, a curious orb. Yep, we're almost there guys, don't worry. Is to talk to Tithrus in Valdraken. This will complete the quest, a sphere of danger. From there, you wanna to head to the Storm Shroud Peak in Thaldrassus. The coordinates will be below uh, to the three caves you need to go to. Once you get there, you need to use your Torch of Pyref to reveal the tablets in the caves. Now there's three to get, so you need to start in the first cave and click the tablet. Once that's clicked, you need to head outside and click the Mound of Dirt and that will give you the first orb. Uh, do the process again with the second tablet. Again, all the coordinates are down below and then you want to click the mound of dirt just outside the cave. And then finally, once again, click the third tablet, walk outside and a mound of dirt will be interactable. Once you have all three of the orbs, you want to click the orbs in your bag and that will start the quest A Curious Orb, which once again will send you back to Tithrus in Valdraken to complete the quest and the step A Curious Orb towards the achievement. And now for our final step of the Who Done It achievement. This section is called The Race. To start this, you need to speak to Preservationist Kathos and complete the quest A Treacherous Race. From there, you want to head over to Tearhold. Now, this is where you need to use your Torture Pyroph once again on the orbs on the statues. Around Tearhold will be a bunch of statues holding orbs. You just need to fly up to those with your torch equipped. You can do this while mounted. The coordinates will be below, but it is just essentially finding all of these statues around Tearhold. There are eight in total. Tool. You'll know when you've done a particular orb because the orb will be on fire. Uh, very easy to do. Once all eight of the orbs are on fire, you want to head to the middle section uh, of Tearhold to the big giant face and walk straight up to it. And if it's all done correctly, it should channel into you and give you a buff. Walking outside this area, you'll notice that all the NPCs are now friendly to you, which is very, very handy. From here, you need to get a bunch of items. Now, these are on the different layered areas below Tearhold. This is where the instance is, but obviously you don't want to go inside the instance. On each floor, this lower part of Tearhold are are different rooms. Inside of these rooms, there'll be one item each. It's located normally at the back of the room. You could use your idol of Onara if you are struggling to find them. Uh, once you've got all of the items, once you've gone to all of the rooms, each of the rooms will have one. Definitely double check once you've got everything. Uh, there'll be some items in your bag for you to click. This will give you a bunch of items to click and combine, which will give you four different items. The large Titan capacitor, the Titan focus crystal, the Titan block key, and the Titan energy cube. Uh, once you have all four of these blue items, you want to put these inside the Titan Power Relays. All the coordinates of those are below, but these are the rooms around here hold with the big beam. There'll be like a thing to click inside those. Once you've done all four of those correctly, a new quest will pop up on your map uh, at the orb in the middle of tier hold by the throne sort of thing. To complete this quest, you need to investigate the orb. So you just click the orb once again. You'll see that two NPCs, one of them being Tithrus, will arrive. Uh, yep, it was them all along. From there, you just need to kill both of those, loot the orb from Tithrus, put it inside the orb, and that will complete the quest and you can hand that back in to Preservationist Kathos who is up there at Tearhold with you not really helping out with the killing but that will complete the Who Done It achievement. It is a long achievement. It's very satisfying to complete. This will reward Patty the mount which as mentioned is a alpaca with a tweed hat on. Uh, really great. I love this mount. I think it's hilarious. And the title Honorary Preservationist. So that is the kind of big part of the Secrets of Azeroth event but there is two other things. One of them rewarding a pet and one of them rewarding a mount. Luckily these aren't as complicated. So let's talk about the mount first. This is the Mimron's Jump Jets. This is a recolor of one of the mounts from Mechagon. I really like this mount. It's a flying mount, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that's very cool. This one's super easy. So to obtain this one, you need to get three booster parts. These booster parts are located all around Azeroth. The first one is dropped from the Enigma Ward. Now, the problem here is that you will need three people to do this. Now, because it's kind of new, there probably will be some people over there. But what you want to do is head over to the Cape of the Stranglethorn in the coordinates listed below. Once you get there, you need to use your Torch of Pyreth, and if there's three people around, this should spawn the Enigma Ward and do a little cutscene. Uh, once you kill him, that will drop the first booster part. 
Now you don't actually have to do these in order, so we're just going to jump to the third booster part. Uh, so this is very easy. You just want to head over to the Blasted Lands uh, on the Dark Portal ramp. There's going to be an interactable there, uh, which you'll channel. Once that's completed channeling, that will give you the third booster part. The final part you need is the second booster part. Now this is located in Felwood in Calendal. The coordinates will be below, of course. Uh, you will need four people for this, but I got very lucky. I kind of flew over there and it was already done. Uh, so if you're lucky like me, you can just go there and loot it and get the second booster part. But if you're not lucky, uh, you will need four people to do this. There should be an elemental NPC there, which someone can take over and basically just need to suck in four people and that should spawn the interactable to get the second booster part. So yeah, again, not too sure on how that bit works, but I think it's self-explanatory once you get there. Uh, once all of those are done, once you have the three booster parts, you want to head back to Valdraken to the Empowered Arcane Forge. This is located by the Crafting Order NPCs. Uh, you want to combine all of the booster parts and that will give you the Mount Mimron's Jump Jets. Very easy to do. I got very lucky with this by having a couple people around at the time and having the second one already done. But again, even if that's not the case, just stick it in the group finder or just kind of hope that people are still doing this uh, and that will give you a nice mount, a nice flying mount Mimron's Jump Jets. And finally, let's talk about the satchels. Now, this is one of the easiest ones to do. It does take a little bit of time just because of travel time and things like that. Uh, but this is, yeah, a really interesting one. So the way that they did this is basically the World of Warcraft Twitter account would post random posts every single day. And inside those posts would be a secret leading towards a satchel around Azeroth. It was really interesting and kind of fun to do at the time. Uh, but obviously, after the fact, now it's all kind of done. You needed 10 for the Achievement Community Rumor Mill. Uh, but they did actually do 17 in the end. Now, I think for the sake of time here, I'm not going to go through every single satchel. What I've done is put a bunch of coordinates down below in the description. If you have the add-on TomTom, you can type in slash TomTom paste, and then you can paste in all of those coordinates and go on like a world tour around Azeroth picking up these satchels. Once you have 10, that will reward the Achievement Community Rumor Mill, and that will give you the pet Tobias, which is a dog with a hat on. He's a great looking pet and the final part of the Secrets of Azeroth. Yeah. So there you go. That is the complete ultimate guide to the Secrets of Azeroth event. A very, very fun event. As mentioned, I do recommend kind of doing it without a guide, but if you've got this far, you've probably used the guide or just use part of it. I don't know. Uh, but either way, a very great event. I'm really looking forward to them doing it again. They have mentioned that it is something they might do again in the future. And I think it was just a really fun community event. And then, you know, you had to be there, but obviously it's now over and you can go and grab all the rewards nice and easily. So yeah. Also a massive shout out to like Wowhead, MMO Champion, the community, everyone on Twitter, everyone just around the WoW community for getting all of this kind of sorted and consolidated and, and done. It was just, yeah, it was a really great effort from everybody involved. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. And it really just kind of made it, yeah, a good a good fun time. So yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, guys, please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, I'm also on Patreon and I'm on Twitter at MrGMYT. And I have a partner Discord channel as well. And as mentioned, I am streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me stream what of Warcraft, Dragonflight, Dragonflight PTR, and more. I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.